my sisters and brothers, we reflect today on verse 8 of our psalm, Psalm 71. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Were I gifted with similar poetic skills, I could easily have written this psalm. So often I utter the same desperate cries for help that children make when they wake up alone in a pitch dark room. I am terrified. I scream, God, where are you? I need you. I demand, deliver me and set me free. I cower in fear and whimper, Lord, don't you see that I'm drifting into dangerous waters? I'm about to drown. I need something sturdy to lean against. Rescue me. The situation gets much worse when close relationships fade, as they invariably do. When from harsh reality or grisly paranoia, I perceive that my enemies are talking against me and lie in wait for my life. Psalm 71, subtitled in some versions of the Bible, Growing Old with God, is my psalm, a cry for help from someone who knows God and has experienced God's unfailing faithfulness since birth. All his long life, God has been the psalmist's refuge, his strong rock, castle, crag, and stronghold. Yet, he thinks that God, who has shown such unswerving strength and consistently reliable support, will cast him off when his strength fails. Would God, who has caused him to be assigned to others, a witness to the rock-like nature of his sustaining power, now changed so completely that his enemies can go after him and seize him? This, sadly, is a reflection of my own life and perhaps the lives and the attitudes of others. We are strong and confident during the good times, but when rough weather sets in, we panic. We panic when we should indeed pray. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Let us meditate on these words. It is not God's plan that our Christian journey be totally trouble-free. Roadblocks, potholes and detours will retard progress. But God, our guide while life shall last, remains forever our eternal hope. Let us pray. Loving and sustaining God, inscribe confidence in your supporting presence indelibly in our memories and keep us expressing unwavering praise even when we fall. Only then will we be strong enough to confront and overcome life's challenges. Only then will we be able to dust ourselves off and start all over again. Amen.